Uh, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys and do an unboxing of a new light that I got. Uh, I did this video once and then I looked it over and I was out of focus the entire time. So had to change some things, uh, but um, I've been wanting to do some breeding for a while now, um, probably the last three years. Uh, I've wanted to keep some of the genetics that I have and do a couple crosses. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not a breeder. Um, I, I just grow a little bit and then uh, I just thought it'd be fun to try doing some crosses of some of the keepers that I've found in the last couple years. Uh, I did not want to do it in the garage uh, because that's where I flower out all of my girls and I didn't want anything to get pollinated while in flower. Uh, so right now I'm packing up everything uh, from this house. Uh, we're going to be moving in about two weeks. Uh, and so I think at the new house I'm going to be setting up a small little tent and doing some breeding. Uh, thankfully Viper Spectra reached out to me. Uh, they sent me a uh, XS 1500, uh, which is probably the smallest light that they make. Uh, it's 150 watts. They're using Samsung L uh, LM301B diodes. Uh, and I think this is set up right here is going to be absolutely perfect for what I am going to use it for. Uh, they also sent me a 2x2 two two tent. So I'm, I got a Frosé mail right now. Um, I got uh, the Gac Melon Keeper, and then I also have one of the Jungle Boy Strawberry Shortcake Keepers uh, that I would like to cross that Frosé with. Uh, I did not, unfortunately, I did not, unfor yeah, okay. I unfortunately did not find a keeper on my Frosé run. Uh, there was a really good, uh, a really good Fino that I liked. It just stretched way too much. Uh, and I have it in veg right now at the, uh, the warehouse. And, I mean, you get, you're getting inner nodes that far apart, 10, 12 inches. Uh, it's really lanky and something that I don't think that I'm going to be able to deal with. Uh, so I'm hoping by crossing the Frosé with the Gak Melon and the Strawberry Shortcake, I'll be able to find a keeper through one of those. Uh, but yeah, guys, so this is Viper Spectra. They're using uh, Meanwell drivers, uh, just like... A couple other companies out there. Uh, I'm really stoked that they're using Samsung diodes. Uh, like I've said in many videos, I think it's they're at the top right now when it comes to uh, LED diodes. Uh, right here in the box, since I already opened it once, uh, you're gonna they 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 sent you some hangers right here, some hanging hooks right there, and then you're gonna get your owner's manual uh, right here. Uh, it is a full spectrum LED along with ultraviolet, ultraviolet or infrared. I'm sorry, infrared. Uh, um, so I'm excited to see what kind of results I'll get from this. Uh, and this, if you're planning on doing a bigger grow, like a five by five tent, four by four tent, uh, this light is definitely going to be too small unless you get probably three or four of them to line out the entire tent. Uh, but for smaller grows, if you have a t only have room for a two by two space or you're in your closet, uh, you could definitely get away with using this right here. Um, I, I, I wish I could set it up right now for you guys and take some par readings and stuff like that. But right now, uh, like I said, I'm just in the middle of packing everything up to get moved. Uh, right here, I want to show you the light. It's going to be smaller. Uh, it's probably a foot wide uh, by 10 inches in width right here. You got the LED board, uh, aluminum heat sink, no running fans, which I like. Um, and I'm going to be setting this up in there. Uh, two by two tent that they sent with me. So if you would like to follow along and watch the results of this, uh, I'll be posting videos probably um, once a week or every couple weeks on my breeding project. Uh, I, if I can call it that because you know I'm not a breeder. Uh, I would like to deep dive down that rabbit hole but uh, I've got so much going on right now that'll probably be in the future. Uh, but yeah guys, that's the unboxing of the 
uh, Viper Spectra uh, XS 1500. Um, I told him that I wouldn't be able to do anything or any grow updates with this light until I get moved into my new house. Uh, so uh, right now it's just the unboxing, but watch out for later videos. I will be posting grows with this light. Um, they are running a Black Friday sale coming up, so if you are interested in that, go check them out. Uh, as far as I know, they're somewhat of a newer company. Uh, there's a couple of people on YouTube, uh, just like me, that uh, have a couple of these running. Uh, so go check out their YouTube channel if you would like to, uh, to see the performance of this. Uh, but I will be posting some par readings and uh, some grows uh, uh, along with this light. Uh, but yeah, guys, have a good rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.